Sail Wars presents the 2023 Capital Cup. This is a team event using DF-65s with only A-Rigs. Let's meet our teams. From Frederick, Maryland, we have the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club. Go Northern Maryland! From Solomon's Island and Hagerstown, Maryland, we have Team Unified. Go Team Unified! <laughs> From Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, we have Team Menahaven. Go Team Menahaven! The teams were set as the Northern Maryland Rescue Fleet was ready for action. The Capital Cup consists of eight races, and the Sailors are individually scored. After race eight, the, tailors, the Sailor scores are tallied. The top three Sailor scores from each team are added together for the total team score. The top three Sailors will also be recognized individually, regardless of team. We would like to thank our volunteers, Kyle, Connie, and Braulio. Let's get racing! Here are our competitors. From Team Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club, we have number 777, Bart. Number 965, Chris. Number 78, Alan. Number 46, Mari. Number 463, Albert. From Team United, we have number 93, Kyle. Number 353, Rob. Number 013, Kurt. And from Team Menahaven, we have number 201, Tom. Number 15, Mike Cavanaugh. Number 96, Susie. Number 153, Mike G. And number 1, Karen. The sellers will be racing one lap only. This is the start and finish line. The racers will be selling upwind and around two offset marks. They then proceed downwind where they will have a gate. These are two marks and the skipper decides which one they would like to go around. They then race back to the finish line. That pretty much sums it up. Let's listen to the start. have a great start and right off the bat Mari takes the lead in number 46 followed by number 201 Tom and way out towards the middle Rob just takes goes into first place in number 353 but is quickly passed on the outside by Mari in number 46 now they're racing two laps in this race this is the final race of the Capital Cup Two of the teams, Northern Maryland and Menahaven, are super close on points. So this is a critical race. And right now it looks like Bart in number 777 is going into the lead. They really would like for him to finish first. And here comes Mike Cavanaugh, number 15, up quick, about a boat length and a half behind him as they head towards that first mark. And way on the inside, we have Tom, number 201. So we have one Northern Maryland and two Menahavens right up front. Looks like in fourth place, we have 463, and that is Albert. And then 46, uh, Mari is up at the front. And don't forget, at the end of this video, we will 
announced the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club Sports Person of the Year Award, so stay tuned till the very end. The boats are heading up to that first mark. They're cruising along. The wind is puffing at times, little gust, but they're moving along really nicely. And Susie, number 96, goes out of control a little bit and has to do a little loop-de-loo. And let's see, in first place right now, we have number 15, Mike Cavanaugh gets around that first mark in first place. And then number 201, Tom, is in second place. So they passed Bart around that first mark. So he had a hard time getting around that mark. I wonder if he caused a penalty there and had to do a penalty. And there he goes. Number 15 made his way around. And there's number 46 coming up fast. We kind of zoom back there for a second. There's number 15. Mike, he's out front. He's got a little bit of a lead heading down wind. Remember, it's two laps. And currently, Mari's in second place, followed by Tom. So Mari's got that black boat on the outside. It's neck and neck for second place right now. Every point is critical here. And there's Chris with the blue cells. Number 965. He's in fourth place right now. And in fifth place we have Susie, number 96, coming up quickly on Chris. And I believe, and yes, she passes Chris. And look at how fast Mike's going. He's already headed back up the course, so... Mike has completed lap number one. Their second place, number 46, she's back about 25 boat lengths right now. So I think Mike Cavanaugh is making a statement right here. And look at that, Mari is catching up. She got a good puff right there. She's not giving up. And here comes Tom in third and Susie in fourth. So three of the top four right now are Team Menahaven. They want to go home with that cup. The Capital Cup is the most prestigious award in the area up north. Any club can be invited. They just have to abide by the rules. So this is a very prestigious event. I believe you can have up to six people on your team, but remember only the top three uh, score, the lowest scores get counted. The lowest score wins overall. As we see some of these boats battling to get back up to the front. You can see Paul, number 814, right there in front of us. And there's number 153, Mike G. Now they, they're done with their one of two laps. Let's see if we can catch up with our leader. And there's our leader right there. That was Mike Cavanaugh, number 15, headed downwind. And there is Mari, I believe, is in second place. Or actually, that was Tom in second place. And here comes, that's number 96, Susie, and number 46, Mari. So Mari is in fourth place for Northern Maryland. And the other top three are all Menahaven. And look at that, Susie gets a big puff and goes out of control. She totally buried the front of her boat in turn and Mari passes her. Now Mari's got about a three boat length lead on her as Mari's about to take that inside mark as they head back up. She's trying, desperately trying to catch up to both Tom and Mike Cavanaugh. Mike Cavanaugh's in first heading towards the 
finish line, only mere feet from the finish line. Tom is in second place, and there's the finish line right there, those two marks. Let's go ahead and focus on that finish line as still Mike Cavanaugh has got the lead. Tom was in second, and there's Mike, number 15, barreling towards that line. And here's Tom. Look how close Tom is in. Yes, number 15, Mike Kavanaugh wins race number eight, followed number by number 201, Tom, who takes second place. And here comes Mari to the line, and number 46, Mari takes third place. So Menahaven took the top two spots in that race, and Northern Maryland took third place. Let's see who's going to finish fourth. And what happened to Bart as he was in first place heading to that first mark early on. And here comes Susie, number 96. She'll have to tack again, and she does. She goes back over to Port Tack as she heads to the line. The wind is really nice right now as number 96, Susie, takes fourth place. And let's see who's going to take fifth place. And it's Mahi, number 777. Bart is barreling towards that line, and he quickly crosses that line in fifth place. And here comes Chris Carpenter in that beautiful boat with the blue sails. And number 965, Chris takes sixth place. And we got a battle for seventh place between Allen and Rob going to the line. Allen loses the win, and Rob comes across, taking seventh place. And number 78, Allen takes eighth place. Boy, that was close at the line, and that's just how close some of these races can be, as we see number 93, Kyle, coming towards the line. He's in the irons. Look out, because here comes number 814. 814. Paul should just lay on its starboard, but no, he goes into the irons as number 93, Kyle, takes ninth place. A critical mistake by Paul. So all you new sailors, remember, if you have some good power in your sails and you're headed towards that finish line and the other competitor is just floundering, stay on that tack and slide right in there for the win. And here comes Mike G, number 153. He's going to pass Paul as he takes 10th place as Paul still has problems. And he's right up by that mark, not quite touching it, just fading back off of it. At this point, he should probably let the sails out a little bit, turn that rudder the opposite way, go sideways, get the wind back, and then proceed across that line. He's got the win, but he's not getting enough power before he can switch back to the tack he needs to get across that line. You know, I've seen people actually let everything out and do a complete circle, and that might be what he's going to have to do. And I think he did do that, as now just stay on that starboard tack, Paul, and you can head right across there. Don't let that other boat slide in there, and I believe you are going to let Albert, number 463, who takes 11th place, and finally, Paul gets across in 12th place. So, congratulations to our top three. In first place, we have number 15, Mike Kavanaugh. Second place, we have number 201, Tom. In third place, we have number 46, Mari. So, the top two are from Menahaven, and the third place goes to the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club. Let's take a look at our top three scores for team. Now remember, the low score is better. So Team Unified, their top three racers are first place Rob with only 48 points, second place Kyle with 68 points, and third place Kurt with 105 points. So remember, that is going to be totaled up for a total score of... 221 total points so that's their team unified's total score so the other two teams will have to have a lower score than that to beat them okay so let's see the top three scores for team menahaven 
first place. We have Tom with only 29 what, points. Second place, Mike Who, with 33 your, points. And third chief place, rival? Susie with 46 points. Those are some really good scores. Let's see what their total is. So their total is 108 total points. So they are currently in front of Team Unified. Team Unified is made up of the Cumberland Valley Model Yacht Club and the Solomon's Island Model Yacht Club. Okay, let's see what the top three scores are. Oh, Model Yacht Club is. Well, first place is Bart with 35 points, second place Mari with 38 points, and third place Chris with 45 points. So let's see what their total score is going to be. And their total is 118 total points. So let's tally them all together and see which club is going to be the 2023 Capital Cup winner. So the final results are in third place with 221 points. We have Team Unified in second place with 118 points. We have Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club. And in first place with 118 points, we have the Menahaven Model Yacht Club. Congratulations, Menahaven, the 2023 Capital Cup champions. And there they are, so happy that they won that. That's such a hard award to win. And now let's take a look at our individual awards. And in third place goes to Bart. And second place goes to Mike Kavanaugh. And our first place goes to Tom. He sailed some incredible races today. And our Sail War Sportsmanship Award goes to Kyle Russell. If you like what we're doing here at Sail Wars, remember we're all volunteers, so please support us by taking the time to subscribe. We really appreciate those of you who have subscribed. And if you're a club webmaster, please, we need your support. When we go to many different clubs, we find out the members don't even know how to get to Sail Wars, how to watch our videos. They don't even know how to subscribe to YouTube or get on YouTube. So we need to help them at times. So please put our home page on your website and talk about how to get to Sail Wars. We have over 260 videos now and on the Cell Wars homepage, we have the best of Cell Wars, which is my favorite, and they're picked by our volunteers, the ones we think you would really like. So please take the time to subscribe to Cell Wars, and we also want you to join a great club near you like the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club, a great group of people there. So make sure you look them up and visit once in a while. And we also love the AMYA. Now, as promised, we are going to announce the Northern Maryland Model Yacht Club Sports Person of the Year Award, and this year for 2023, the award goes to Kyle Russell. Congratulations, Kyle, that's a great award to win. 